Cold Children's Museum presents Home Zone, learning experiences you can do at home. Hello everybody, welcome to the Cold Children's Museum Home Zone. My name is Emma and today we're going to be doing an experiment called drying it out. What you're going to need for this experiment are four of the same rags. If you can't get the same ones, just try to um, pick out rags that are as similar as possible in shape and in material. The other thing that you're gonna need is water, whether you get it um, straight from the sink or you can get a big bowl just like this. And then you're gonna need four different places to test out this experiment. So for me, what I chose today is a drying rack for my kitchen. I'm gonna just use my um, table right here. Then I'm going to use a plastic container. And lastly, I'm gonna use this hanger to hang up one of these rags right by my sunny window. But wherever you're interested in testing is a great place for you. Um, you just have to make sure that you found the right spots before you start out. The other thing that I'm gonna do is as a scientist, it's really important for me to record all of my observations. So right here, I've got a piece of paper. You can use your science journal also. And you're gonna record all of the different areas that you are testing this experiment in um, so that you can make sure you keep track of all of your observations. So let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to take our rags and we are going to submerge them in the water that we have right here. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do once the rags are all wet is you're gonna to wanna to wring them out just like this. We want to try to be as consistent as possible with all of our different materials so that we can control our experiment. That way we have a really good idea of the best environment in which we should dry out these rags after we get them wet. So I've run most of the water out of this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rag and I'm going to hang it up in my first testing condition. I'm going to hang it up right on this drying rack here. And then I'm going to go back and wring out my next rag, just like this. And once it feels pretty similar to that one that I just put on the drying rack, I'm gonna take this rag, I'm gonna unfold it again. Again, we wanna to try to be as consistent as possible. And I'm gonna put it right in this plastic container here. I'm gonna put the lid on and seal it a really different environment than the one that I put on the drying rack. I'm really curious to see which is going to be the best environment for me to dry out my rags. Let's see. Alrighty, the next place that I'm going to put this one is right here on the table. Again, you're going to unfold it and set it out just like this. And last but not least, we're going to wring this one out. And I'm going to put this one right on a hanger. And then in a moment, I'm going to go to my window and hang this up. So it'll be right by a sunny spot. You can think of tons of different places that you might want to hang up your rags or um, your different pieces of fabric. Some examples, if you've got a fan, you can put it right by your fan. Um, if you have a vent, you could figure out a way with grown-up help to hang it right by your vent also. Um, you're going to think of different sources that um, you're interested in testing out to see which is going to work the best. So after this, after I have all of my rags set up and ready to experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my watch or start my timer so that I can check on these rags every five minutes. And when I'm testing these rags out, when I'm coming back in five minutes, I want to see if they're wet, if they're a little dry, or if they're mostly dry. And those are things that I can record right here in my science journal. Once I'm recording those things, it's gonna allow me to see which environment is working the best. When you are doing this experiment at home, some questions that you can ask are, what are you noticing about the different rags? Um, you can also ask if this experiment, if you think the results would be the same, if you use the same materials. For example, would this work the same way if you used parts of a fleece blanket or if you used old pieces of a cotton t-shirt? Or would those different fabrics change our results a little bit? Other things that you can look out for are seeing if this experiment, um, if you could test it in any different way, um, it, what the 
what the results would be if you tested all of these things in different environments. And once you've run it through one time, you can run it through a few different times using different environments or different um, conditions to test out the rags to see which is going to dry the quickest. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Cole Children's Museum Home Zone. Have a great rest of your day.